Okay, so my name is Joe Boswell and I'm a writer. Throughout the week of the 2016 presidential election in the US, I wrote a series of photo-illustrated political dispatches reporting live from the streets of Chicago and New York via Facebook. And now I'm looking to return to the States to document Donald Trump's inauguration and the surrounding protests in Washington DC, and I need your help to fund that. My previous dispatches can be read on my website, which is joeboswell.co.uk. You'll find them. In my writing, I've been committed to giving a platform to the widest array of voices and political opinions. On my previous trip to the States, I spoke to Democrats, Republicans, swing voters, non-voters, blacks, whites, Asians, Latinos, Filipinos, Christians, Muslims, atheists, activists, academics, entrepreneurs, queer people, trans people, the young, the old, city dwellers, hillbillies and the homeless. In listening to these people and in writing about what they have to say, I've been very inspired by Christopher Isherwood's novel Goodbye to Berlin, which is also a collection of character portraits set against a politically volatile situation, in this case, Germany in the 1930s. On the first page of that book, Isherwood has this famous line that runs, I am a camera with its shutter open, quite passive, recording, not thinking. And I love that quote because it captures what I've been trying to do in terms of allowing the people in my writing to reveal themselves and their worldview without too much judgment or editorial on my part. Having said that, I won't pretend to complete neutrality. If I have an agenda, it's primarily to show how complicated the situation is, how much thought it requires, and how poorly served we are in this polarising moment by reductionist narratives of good versus evil. Where my voice comes to the fore, it's generally been to criticise that kind of thinking on the left. I'm one of those people who worries that a growing illiberalism on our side is in part to blame for the rise of authoritarianism on the other. So that's my pitch, anyway. If that sounds like the sort of thing you'd like to support, I'd be very grateful for your help. This is last minute, I know, but if it looks like I can raise at least £500 by Wednesday, I'll be on a plane to Washington. If I can get as much as £1,000, that'd cover my costs in their entirety. And if by some miracle I raise more than that, then hey, I might even get paid. Make sure you check out the reward options on the side of the crowdfunder page if you're tempted by a photographic print or a CD. Thank you.